What is Burns Night? Burns Night is a celebration of the life and poetry of the Scottish poet, Robert Burns. It is also called Robert Burns Night, or Rabbi Burns Night. Robert Burns is widely regarded as the national poet of Scotland, and is celebrated worldwide. He is the best known of the poets who have written in the Scottish language. When is it celebrated? Burns Night is on the 25th of January, which is the poet's birthday. A Burns Supper is normally held on, or near, the 25th of January, however, celebrations may be held at any other time of the year. Where is it celebrated? It is celebrated mainly in Scotland, but Burns Suppers are hosted all over the world, by organisations such as universities, sporting clubs, and Burns clubs, all wanting to celebrate the life and works of Robert Burns. How did the celebration start? The first Burns Supper was held by Burns Friends, in July 1801, on the fifth anniversary of his death, at Burns Cottage in Ayrshire, Scotland. Since then, suppers have been held every year, on or around the 25th of January. The Scottish Parliament considers Burns Night to be a key cultural heritage event, and an opportunity to celebrate the Scottish language. How is it celebrated? Burns suppers usually involve wearing tartan, listening to bagpipes, eating haggis, drinking Scotch whisky, and reciting Burns songs and poetry. They sometimes end with dancing to traditional Gaelic music. The meal is usually made up of three courses, a soup course, the haggis course, and a dessert course. The main event of a Burns supper is the haggis. Haggis is a Scottish dish, which is traditionally made of a sheep's stomach, containing sheep's heart, liver, and lungs, minced with onion, oatmeal, suet, and spices. It is traditionally served with tatties and neeps, which are mashed potatoes and turnips. Everyone stands as the haggis is brought in on a large dish, accompanied by bagpipe music. Robert Burns's poem, addressed to a haggis, is recited as the haggis is brought in. After the meal, guests will often sing songs or recite poems by Burns. At the end of the evening, everyone stands and joins hands, to sing Robert Burns's song, Auld Lang Syne. Did you know? Robert Burns and his wife, Jean Armour, had nine children together, including two sets of twins. Robert Burns's most famous song is Auld Lang Syne, which is sung all over the world at the stroke of midnight, on New Year's Eve. It has been recognized by the Guinness Book of World Records, as one of the top three most popular English songs, along with Happy Birthday, and, for his a jolly good fellow. After Queen Victoria and Christopher Columbus, Robert Burns has more statues dedicated to him around the world, than any other non-religious figure. 